Hello YouTube, this is You Can Do It Dave. In this next video, I'm going to try and find an answer to a question. Which is better, expanded polystyrene or extruded polystyrene? They're, all, they're both made out of the same material, uh, polystyrene. Okay, if you do a search, like when I'm, when I'm looking for something on the internet and I want an answer to something, I will look up one thing. And I'll either get 75% yes and 25% no, or 75% no and 25% yes. This is the only topic I have run into where it's split right down the middle. This one's better. No, this one's better. Well, this one loses our value. No, this one does. This one soaks up water. No, this one does too. There's all kinds of opinions out there. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take two almost identical pieces. That one's got to be trimmed off a bit. I'm going to weigh them, and then I'm going to find out how much water they absorb over long-term testing. Okay. Now, I've heard that the, the uh, expanded polystyrene does not soak up water. But then someone else says, yeah, it does. You just got to leave it in long enough. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my nice little kitchen scale out here. And I'm going to let it zero. And this one here weighs 25 grams. Okay. This one here weighs 25 grams. Should have put the G underneath, but that's okay. Now these two here are different sizes, so they should be different weights. That one there is 10 grams. And that one there is 12. So what I'm going to do... Ten grams. Okay, so so now we have two pieces, two pieces of expanded and two pieces of extruded. Okay, so we've got our uh, styrofoam blocks here, and I've made up some uh, old plastic water jug containers. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one sample of each and put it in a plastic bag. Okay, this is my control piece. Okay, that is not going to change. It's not going to absorb any water. It's not going to absorb any moisture. It is going to be the same no matter what, hopefully. Okay, so we got the controls. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second piece and I'm going to put it in a jug of water with another piece of foam on top. Okay. I'm going to wire it in. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up until the piece of foam the bottom piece of foam is completely submerged. Just like that. Okay, so there's the uh, extruded polystyrene. And as you can see, there's a little piece on top there.
and that is the expanded polystyrene. So now all I've got to do is fill them up, fill them up with water, and let them soak. Okay, so I'll take the camera down here. So now this one here, the water level, the water level is just above the styrofoam. And this one here, the water level is just above the styrofoam. Okay, so I will keep this like this for two months. Put this thing back up here. I will keep this thing here, these water jugs, for two months. And we'll get them out and we'll weigh them and we'll see what, what happens. So here you have the uh, continuing water test. Okay, it's been uh, maybe 10 days. And the interesting thing I find now, since I've got the air conditioner running every now and then, I've covered them up with sheets of plastic so that we don't get very much evaporation. Okay, and the one thing I have noticed is so far I have had to add water to the XPS. Okay, there is a black line right here, and if it drops below that line, I have to add water. Okay, well, the EPS, the expanded, has not moved at all, but the XPS has dropped just a little bit okay so I added a little bit more water just to bring it back up to this line now that's uh, it's the 12th today so that's after 12 days I had to add some water so we will give it another month and a half and see what happens here is another update um, it is currently the 830 the 30th so it's been 30 days okay and what's interesting is that they have both dropped that one has dropped a little bit and that one has dropped a little bit so they've both equally dropped a little bit in water now whether it's been absorbed or whether it's been evaporated who knows right um, but 30 days after the start of this test there is a little bit of change in the water water levels of both of them, so we will we will keep them keep it soaking for another thirty days, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been two months. We have the extruded and the expanded uh, polystyrene. Okay, so what we can do is I will pull out the pins first. I'll try to without making a mess. I'll let the foam come up. Get rid of the spacer. Now we will put one there and we'll let it drip and then we'll come over here. And we'll try not to make a mess with this one. And we'll let that one drip. Okay, now we've got a clean scale here, so we'll turn that on. Okay, now this one here, it was 25 grams. Okay, it is now 76 grams. That's quite a bit of a difference. Okay, 25 to 76. Now we'll wipe it off, make sure it's nice and dry. Now this one was 10 grams, and it's up to 13. Okay, so now what I'm being told is that the expanded stuff the water will drain out of it, but the extruded stuff, 
it holds on to it. It will not drain it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces of foam and I'm going to put them back into this empty container. Okay, and this container has a little bump in the top, in the bottom. So when I set this in there, it will actually be held up off the bottom so the water can drain out, drain freely. And what I will do is I will cover them up again. And I'll just leave them both sitting like that for another two months, just like that. I'll drain all the water out of the bottom again, just to make sure. And I'll leave them and we'll see how much they lose at the end of another two months. If that one goes back to its original weight, but that one stays heavy, heavier, then we'll know. We'll see. So far, that one has gained quite a bit of water. Like, it, it, it's heavy. You can feel it. Okay, that one there has not. So, we'll see. Okay, so it is now December 10th. And I have left this piece of styrofoam just covered up with a plastic bag for the last month or two. Okay. And what's really surprising it's gone back down to the original weight. It's lost all its moisture. This is the test block. 25 grams. And this is the block that was soaking in the water for three months, two months. It's actually gotten lighter. <laughs> 25 grams. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, the, put it back in the water uh, for two months. And when it comes out, I'm going to wrap it in a piece of plastic and seal it like it would be underground. Maybe that's... Maybe the moisture evaporated through uh, underneath the uh see i just had it covered like that i just had it covered like that so we'll have to see for a final test what i've done is i've put this soaking wet styrofoam in a plastic bag and i sealed it and then i let the water drain out of it so that's basically simulating that it's not exposed to the air so it's in a sealed environment like it would be underground um but it lets the water drain out to, say, a drain tile. Okay, so as you can see, the water is drained out, and it's back to being nice light styrofoam. So I'm going to say in an underground application where it is allowed to drain, if it does get wet, it will drain back out. As long as it's not sitting in a puddle of water all the time, but then if the water's puddling, what are you doing building underwater? This is You Can Do It, Dave. Hopefully you found this video interesting. I know I have. So now I know what kind of styrofoam I'm going to use for my Hobbit home. So unfortunately, I have to say that I had some corrupted files. I had four or five videos that would not copy, would not download, would not play. I lost all that information. Um, the pink extruded polystyrene. Um, it did not gain a whole lot of weight and it did not lose a whole lot of weight. So it kind of held on to the moisture, um, in a flat roof environment. I would be, I, I will be using that for the Hobbit home, but on the vertical surfaces, um, I will be using the expanded polystyrene. It has a tendency to drain, but, uh, this is, this little audio clip is to just let you guys know that I lost some of my videos and they were unrecoverable. Darn.